Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Muhammad Asim. I am working as AWS architect and AWS automation engineer. Today, the purpose of my video is to create um, OpenVPN client and to show you guys how you can easily deploy OpenVPN client uh, and use uh, AWS infrastructure locally and use it for free. And I will be deploy. Uh, this infrastructure of OpenVPN uh, by using my bash script and you will see uh, it will be deployed very easily so what you have to do uh, is to simply go to my github repository and open this OpenVPN client script uh, one thing I need to tell you that uh, simply you have to copy this and before this uh, I want to show you guys that I'm going to deploy this on Ubuntu 18 LTS you can use uh, CentOS 7 or CentOS 6 or Amazon Linux uh, the first thing you need to do is to uh, first set up the docker so I'm going to deploy docker first by a docker script this is very easy I have uh, already SSHed uh, into my uh, Ubuntu LTS let me show you guys and I just want to confirm as well ok this is uh, Ubuntu 18 LTS we are going to first set up the docker and simply install it the purpose of this video also uh, is to show you guys uh, how can you use the private IP or private infrastructure uh, and uh, very easily you can manage uh, by using the local IPs of your VPC for instance uh, my current uh, VPC site address is this and uh, my local lcp dot just a minute I'm going to read the run I want to show you my address as well go to the properties in just a minute um, details this is my IP address 192.168.1.3 uh, using from my home and now I'm going to show you how I can able to access uh, these uh, cider local cider ranges via using the docker okay I'm going to uh, docker has been set up system ctl start docker oops I'm going to enable this as well to make sure after reboot it persists okay uh, let's see the status as well see docker is running so what you have to do guys is to simply copy my bash script with regard to the open um, VPN simply copy it it and I'm going to create a file here 
um, bash script file open vpn dot shell okay i'm going to paste here i'm going to make it executable chmod plus x see and now i'm going to run this what i'm going to do is to let me open the sticky note as well what i'm going to do is to copy the ip address and we have to provide it there you see this is going to pull the image and it is asking for uh, the main server ip address which i have already copied in uh, just a while ago and this is the address okay i'm going to paste it okay uh, this is the password uh, which i'm going to use uh, by the way i'm going to tell you guys this is a sandbox environment and this is going to be destroyed in two hours so this is the passphrase i want to use and same passphrase I'm going to use just press enter um, this is very secure open VPN uh, client setup uh, the encryption key is going to be 2048 bit long which is very which is very safe key uh, generating Diffie Hellman key parameter uh, you can use um, just a minute so I'm going to use the same uh, passphrase for user you can use different passphrase you see uh, our open VPN client is running uh, I'm going to uh, use the name for the client ask him okay you can give any name and here you can give a different passphrase or if you want to stick with the same passphrase so for this tutorial i'm going to simply copy this and paste it and paste it and again and that's it you see uh awesome open even file is uh, here i'm going to copy this file to the home of ubuntu and uh, yeah that's it so um, I need to pull this file as well to connect to uh, my OpenVPN server. Okay. So what I'm going to do is to open my um, WinSCP client and I'm going to I'm going to copy the IP address okay public IP address mm -hmm. and I'm going to connect uh, with the Ubuntu is the Ubuntu okay with the EC2 instance which I've created go to the advanced setting I'm going to give this file uh, it is going to accept only PPK so it will automatically convert this into PPK uh, PPK file ok yes save it on the desktop ok so I'm going to login yes and and there is my open VPN file uh, just a minute um, I'm going to store it on the desktop for the sake of this tutorial okay this is the file so I'm going to disconnect okay and what I'm going to do is to show you guys how to connect with my OpenVPN client. Uh, now I'm going to import this file 
you can use this open vpn ga tool it is free it is open source simply i have opened it all this stuff is totally free and open source you don't have to pay anything for it and you can connect uh, with this and i'm going to give the same password as you are watching this it is asking me for this and let's see uh, we are able to connect with this uh, in a while so it is asking for the passphrase as i told you i'm giving the same passphrase and let's see whether we able to connect or not so guys um, as you can see i'm going to show you um, I'm connected with my OpenVPN um, client which I've uh, deployed in um, um, Docker. So it is up and running. You should see the status. Um, what I'm going to show you guys, uh, if you see my other um, uh, EC2 container uh, with Terraform by Mohammed Asim, I'm going to copy this let me show you guys you see this is the public ip i am able to access it with the public ip now what i'm going to do as i told you i have uh, in my local infra i'm going to use the same ip and i'm going to see able to access with this ip as well uh, even more than that I'm going to show you that I'm going to disassociate this elastic IP and just make it uh, use this uh, instance locally so uh, this is HTTP and I'm going to disassociate from this uh, EC2 instance and I'm going to release it as well so there is only one um, EC2 instance with the public IP you see this one has got the elastic IP and this one has no public IP and as I am connected with my local infra you see I'm able to access with it you see so this is the way you can easily uh, in fact um, able to connect with your RDS or any local uh, infrastructure uh, running in private subnets uh, this is very easy it is very simple uh, as you already uh, seen that it is easy to deploy and easy to uh, manage and it is totally free just uh, running in the docker uh, hopefully this uh, video helped you uh, one thing before uh, I left you uh, uh, you have to make sure that your security groups uh, should allow this um, open VPN port and if you are using the NACL make sure that uh, it is not just uh, 11 1194 port uh, you have to um, allow other ports as well for instance uh, you can search open VPN ports so you have to make sure that uh, you allow these all UDP ports uh, in your NACL so keep this uh, in mind as well if you are using NACL uh, uh, as far as the security groups um, which are uh, related to, to the ENI of the EC2 uh, you have to just uh, open this port and allow everything on this port uh, do your work uh, and just you know stop the instance and you can e even disconnect now I'm going to show you that I'm going to disconnect from this uh, uh, open VPN tool and let's just do this you see even if I'm going to copy this, I'm not 
sheet is still uh, rotating and it is not even going to show this nothing here see it was you see there you go it is from the cache you will see uh, this is nothing actually or even if I'm going to open my different browser and definitely it is not my local IP as well so just a second guys anyway uh, this is the thing I need to show you uh, thanks for watching uh, please keep uh, sharing this video and like my channel thank you have a nice day Allah Hafiz